Understanding financial math is like learning to drive. Intimidating at first, but once you have got the hang of it, you can go anywhere, invest, plan, and avoid, moreover, financial traps along the way. In this video, I will show you the five core financial formulas that every entrepreneur, startup, investor, or simply a financially curious person should know. They are the tools you need to evaluate loans, investments, and annuities, or simply to avoid signing things you don't fully understand. So, if you care about business, investing, or just understanding money, hit the like button, subscribe the channel, and activate the bell icon. That way, the algorithm is happy, and so I am. So, let's start after our intro. So let's start with the absolute basics. The most straightforward formula M equal C O times 1 plus R times T. Well, M is the total amount, the future value. C O is the initial capital, R in, is uh, the interest rate, and T number of periods, usually years. An example, you invest $1,000 5% per year for 3 years. M equal 1000 times 1 plus 0.05, 5% times 3 years, equal $1150. Thus, you earn $150 in interest. Clean and simple, but only work if you don't reinvest the interest. Otherwise, it's time for the real star, the compound interest. Formula number 2. The compound interest. M is the total amount, again, C O is again the initial capital, R is the interest rate, and T the number of periods, likewise the previous one. So what is the difference from before? That at the end of the period, which is generally one year but can also be semester or less, the interest is added to the initial capital accruing term. So an example, in the previous situation, with a compound interest, you earn $7.63 more than the, the simple interest. But over decades, it's at a big, on 30 years, almost four times as many. So this is the formula that powers retirement plans, long-term investments, and sadly, credit card debt. Formula number three, the present value. Here uh, we enter the art of finance, the concept that $1 today is worth more than $1 tomorrow. Formula is simple, where V equal CF divided by 1 plus R on the power of N. Again, V is the present value, CF is the future cash flow, R is the discount rate, and again, N is the number of periods. Let's have an example. We want to know how much a payment of $10,000 that you will receive in 5 years uh, with a rate of 4% uh, is worth today. So applying the formula above is worth $8,219. This formula is the basics of discounted cash flow, the most widely used valuation method for estimating the value of a company. Formula number 4. Present value of an annuity. Think about mortgages or pension. This is the formula that scares students but saves investors. The formula is the present value factor equal 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus an, all divided by i. Well, we have the present value factor, again the interest rate, and the number of periods. It is used to calculate the present value of a deferred annuity, in example a series of equal and regular future payments. The typical case is the mortgage. Let's have an example. You pay $500 per month for 5 years with an annual rate of 6%, that means 0.5% monthly. So, how much money is the bank really giving you today? So, according to the formula, we can calculate our factor, which is 51.73, and by multiplying this factor for your payment, 
you got uh, roughly $26,000. And for my number five, the future value of an annuity. So how much will I have if I pay each month something? This is uh, the optimistic housing of the previous one. How much will you accumulate if you invest the same amount every period? Calculate the accumulation factor by 1 plus i to the power of n less 1 all divided by i. Again, i is the interest rate, n is the number of periods. Let's have an example. If you say $200 a month for 10 years, what well, 6% annual return, that means again 0.5% monthly, our factor is 162.89 and, and you got roughly $32,500. So at the end of the day, you paid $24,000 and you earn roughly $86,000 hundred dollar in interest. So 172.89 is called the accumulation factor or annuity future value factor. It tells you how much one dollar saved every month will grow to in 120 periods. These five formulas are the toolbox of finance. They help you think critically about loans, investments, mortgages and accumulation plans. Obviously, they are not the only ones, but they are the ones from which we start. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell. And if you want to learn more about one of these topics, for example, how to really calculate mortgage or how much to evaluate an investment, write it in the comment below. See you next week!